done for him. There's nothing to lose. He really does have nothing to lose. He has everything to gain. And Rob, he's got a slight height advantage. They're both ripped, but we we do know one thing. If nothing else, he's got a puncher's chance. We've seen that with Scott. Without a doubt, and that's exactly how I expect this one to go. I'd be very surprised if this goes to ground. Baroni still in an incredible shape here at 32 years of age. But Scott Jansen, can he make history? And as Chris Yu said, propel himself immediately into international recognition with Baroni, the big scout that could come his way. And Jensen looks composed here in the first round. He looks calm and relaxed. Baroni takes it to Grand. Now I am surprised, guys. I expected him to keep it upright and duke it out with Jensen. But Chris, as we said before, sometimes what you expect, you're waiting for and you're ready for, does not happen. Baroni, he's coming around now. I don't know if he's trying to go to mount position. He's holding him here. Hasn't really capitalized yet on this good side control position. I think he's looking to get him against the cage and then really open up. Rob, do you know Scott better than most? Difficult position for him. Was his grand game good enough to, to negate this and get himself stood back up? In all fairness, it's a very difficult position for anybody to be in Baroni. He's got it very, very tight as he moves to put knee on stomach. Very difficult position. Jensen doing a good job of just trying to scoot himself backwards, keep him busy, making Baroni think. Some good short hooks by Jensen, and they look to land with a little bit of power, even from the bottom there. That's right, Baroni looking to pass the half guard. Jensen with the net. Baroni trying to look for the submission. Jensen needs to be careful. Baroni's pushing it on. Jensen fought through it. Did a yes, good pass. Only trying to put the arm bar on. Very difficult submission to get, but it is possible. Jensen just chopping away at the body of Baroni. Baroni still working on that left arm. He has it trapped. Chris, is there anything else there that? Jansen can do, Chris Jansen can do to get out of this position. Well, he needs to be careful in this position because he's in a dangerous spot where a little bit of a tweak from Peroni and he's going to have the finish. And you see he's fighting it a couple times there. He's really put pressure on that joint. But Jensen's done a great job turning his wrist over and taking the pressure off of that elbow. Right, slight grimace a couple of times as Peroni worked to trap that arm. Jensen trying to sit his way up. Good work there from Jansen, as you said. And Chris, is it just the old-fashioned, a couple of times there, he toughed it out? He really did tough it out there. Uh, there was a couple of times where a lot of, a lot of men would have tapped. A lot of men don't have what it takes to sit through that kind of pain. Baroni moves into man position. Da dangerous times for Scott. Grant Waterman brings him back up. So Scott, another opportunity up right here, but I think Phil will want to take him straight back down. Scott really needs to capitalize and use his hands. Oh, and Scott Jensen landed a short shot there. Oh! oh. 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 Uppercut from Baroni as he steps it. in. Wow, a big uppercut. See Scott go down and out. That is all she wrote. A huge uppercut from Baroni. Both guys traded hands. Baroni caught him with a beautiful shot. Scott Jansen went out. He was out before he hit the ground. Well, what a fantastic win for Jensen Bill Baroni. Jensen actually landed a hard punch, and then he stepped forward with his weight and walked right into the uppercut. Yes, you're right, Chris. He landed the left first, which was tied. And as you said, went for the next punch, and Baroni caught him on the way in. You've got to say this. It was perfect timing from Baroni. Great, great work. Wow. What oh, ending. this idiot just nutted Phil Baroni. He just nutted Phil Baroni. What a disgrace.
We're going to take a look at just what happened here. Look, it's the absolute idiot. Disgraceful there. Disgraceful. Unbelievable there. That's well, right. people's emotions get high. There's a lot of hopes and expectations the on the line here. The trouble is it pays no respect to Scott Jansen either. A brave warrior going in there and facing him. It does him no service oh. either. It doesn't That's right. It doesn't look good for Scott. I don't think there's any excuses for it, but again, people's emotions run high. You know, it's probably a relative or a dear friend of uh, Scott's and uh, very unfortunate for everybody involved though. Yes. But there's no denying the power of the finish and the accuracy of the finish. That's right. He's known for having he's known for having heavy hands, and this is the reason why. If we look at a replay, you could see Jansen landed a couple of great shots, but it was a clean right he hook. He was out before he hit the floor. Simple it was as a that. clean right hook that landed. You can see it just comes as Jansen fires the right. Baroni fires a right of his own. I mean, when the punch was thrown, it was a 50-50, wasn't it, Mal? Oh, but it lands straight on the button, and that is all she wrote. Both guys, long shots. Peroni's lands hard. Scott's up. It's nice to see that Scott Jansen's up. He Fantastic to see the fighter on his feet. And Rob, he did so well to stop those submission attacks. So such heart and, and so such determination. He went out, as they say, on his shield. He went out throwing leather, trying to match Baroni. He knew what he was up against. And I can't credit Scott enough for going out there and just giving it his all. Well, before this fight started, we said that he had nothing to lose. And for me, he's lost nothing. No, fantastic there. Baroni, a great finish. Ladies and gentlemen, after three minutes, 18 seconds, of round one, we have a winner by way of knockout, the New York Badass, Phil Barone! And ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for your runner-up, Scott Too Smooth Jansen! Phil, I think you showed you've still got the power in your hands. I think I got a lot of power. I think I'm the. I don't want to say it too early. I think I'm the hardest puncher in welterweight in the world. I think I'm the hardest welterweight puncher in the world. I think I was right there at one middleweight at 185. I think I, at welterweight, I'm the hardest puncher in the world. I think I showed it tonight. I just want to say Scott stepped up. The name of the show tonight was Step Up, and Scott stepped up. He came in here. No one wanted to fight me. Scott stepped up, uh, and I appreciate the opportunity to fight a cage rage. Dave helped me out, got me in here. We've been talking for a long time. Treated me real good. A lot of people were down on me. He gave me the opportunity to get my career back on track, Dave did. And I want to thank Cage Rage and everyone involved. Pro Elite, Doug DeLuca, most importantly, uh, my soon-to-be soon wife, Angela. My, was, you know, my wife, she stuck by me through a lot of bullshit. And all my guys. Coleman, don't interrupt me, dude. Coleman, Coleman, my manager can. This man right here, Josh Thompson, strike force, uh, lightweight champion of the world. Just beat Gilbert Melendez, stud. Finished. Finished. Right then, let me show you how the fight ended. Talk us through it, Phil. If you take that screen up there. Uh, I was throwing hard and I hit him with the big red on the chin. I, you know, I, I took this fight serious. I studied tape and, and I noticed he had his chin up. Josh told me, been backstage. His chin goes a little up after he throws his right hand. I see him throw it right hand and there it is on the chin. You know, you know so, so he told me his chin's up a little bit. So I threw the right hand, boom, I hit him on the chin. He's a tough kid, he stepped up. I hit anyone on the chin, they're gonna get knocked out. Anyone in the world. I hit him on the chin, they want to sleep. I got him on the chin before he got me, that's all. He's a tough kid, I, I, I love England, I appreciate being here, guys. What can you say? Phil with the New York Badass Brownie. I know these guys here want to beat him up now. 
bad boy, Jason Badass, he may be back at VIP, KJ28, September the 20th. Ojo, I can't wait for that one. Me neither, it's been a fantastic night of action, live on Nuts TV. We hope to see you again. And what more can you say, Dave? Say something excited. Except, we'll see you next time on Nuts TV! I love you!